Hey guys, it's Cam. Welcome back to The Reach. Got another quick video here today. I got a box in from Big Time Collectibles. It was a $100 box. It's a Miko Suyan exclusive. You were guaranteed one 9.8. Um, a raw that had a signature, a trade dress, um, a couple other things. Um, what it actually ended up, I did open it up and take a look at it here. Because um, my experience of opening things on camera is horribly tedious. But uh, there's a lot more Raws in here than I expected. I thought it was good value, so we'll take a look at that, see what you think. I've also got a couple Funkos and a couple graded comics that I've recently picked up that I was going to show you. So let's start with the graded comics. The first one I got is this uh, Marvel Premiere um, 10. It's the death of uh, the Sorcerer Supreme and uh, uh, Sugar Gorath, which the the... Price on this seems like it's kind of dropped a little bit since the announcement that it was going to be, or stalled maybe is the better term, since they said it was going to be a Gorgon or something instead of a Sugar Gorath or whatever the creature is here in this. Um, anyway, I bought this off of Buddy. He got it in a 7.5 and it was slabbed. He sent it in to get the signature, which you can see at the top is that uh, Engelhart signature. And when he got it back, it went from a 7.5 to a 6.0. CGC claims that there was a loose staple here, and that's what the major docking was for. Um, uh, take that as you will. When I send a book into CGC, it's already in a slab. For a signature, I don't expect a grade and a half drop. Um, that's kind of disappointing, but he wanted a higher grade. He likes the book. Uh, so I picked this up from him for a pretty good deal since he didn't like the grade he had on this one. The second one I got is kind of a grail for me. It's this, uh, sorry about that glare. It is the first appearance of Kilowog and Green Lantern. Um, let's get this lined up here. Green Lantern 201. And um, if you ever watch a channel before, you see that uh, I'm a big collector of uh, Mark Jeweler variants. I like really cool covers and uh, first appearances that I can get in uh, Mark Jeweler's variants. And that is what this is. It is a Mark Jeweler's variant. So um, that's pretty good grade. A 9.2 and a Mark Jeweler's is pretty good since they've all been out in the wild. Um, the value on this was a little more than I generally spend on a comic, but... Uh, with the new HBO series coming, hopefully it's it's pretty respectable. And um, like I said, it's I'm a huge Green Lantern fan, so um, getting a first appearance of a major Green Lantern catalog or character uh, was a was a a two win for me. So I couldn't pass that up. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this uh, BTC box, that Miko Sion box. I'll dig into that. I'll show you the raws first, and then we'll go to the slab last. So um, the first one I got here. And I forgot the title of this. Uh, anyway, it's just a, a Miko Sion uh, cover. It is um, it is a number one. Again, I wish I could remember the, the name of it, but I, I kind of spaced it off. But it's a cool cover. Uh, it almost looks like Baroness from um, G.I. Joe, but that's, that's not what it is. So uh, the next one I got is a Venom 35, the Miko Sion cover. I could probably stop saying that since they're all going to be that. I really like it when he does these reflected, uh, these reflected uh, covers or whatever you want to call them. This, uh, this uh, I, I've got uh, the uh, Carnage, the the recent Carnage number one, Carnage whatever, Carnage Extreme or whatever it's called. It's the same thing, but I think it's you're looking. It's I think it's the same thing. I think you're seeing Spider Man through carnage and reflection and he's reaching up or something so anyway cool cover really thick it's a really thick square bound book i guess i don't remember venom 35 being that that thick but uh that's a good one next one we got we got old boba fett and the recent uh, war of the bounty hunters so that's a pretty cool cover nothing much to say about that i think i might already have a variant cover of that but uh they gave us a lot of books. Looks like they just threw this one in. Outlaw number one. Um, I like this cover because this cover has a lot of the characters that are uh, due to appear in the MCU. Miles, obviously, in his animated series. Uh, the new uh, the new Nova. Miss Marvel obviously has a, an upcoming show. And uh, Riri is supposed to be, uh, or Ironheart, or whatever you want to call her, is supposed to be... Uh, having a new show come out too so i like that cover for that reason we got inferno number one 
Again, there's the all Miko Sion. So, cool cover. I'm not a huge X-Men fan. I do like it, but uh, it's such a large universe to delve into. So, we got Batman number 118. Sorry about the glare. Uh, hopefully it's better down here. Again, pretty cool cover. Um, this is my signature book, and I really like this. I got lucky with the signature and the slab. Um, it's this Superman... What did it say? It's an homage. It's a Christopher, or Richard Donner, uh, in, in memoriam of uh, Richard Donner. Anyway, you can see the signature up there at the top. I like the black and white, although I'm not a huge black and white fan. But in this case, uh, I did like the uh, the the return, the image of the, uh, oh, what's his name, the guy that passed away. Uh, the original Superman in the 80s series. His name jumped right out of my head. No, anyway. I do like that. And then the slab I got for this is the Spider-Man Spider Shadow. Um, sorry, geez, sorry about that. That light is killing me. Um, anyway, we'll stick it down here. Hopefully it's a better shot. Uh, I like that it came with the uh, um, the Spider-Man label. They didn't mention anything about that when uh, you ordered it, and um, I like that it's a virgin, and I really like the the cover. I don't. I'm not a huge um, Spider-Man fan, um, but I do like that cover. It's it's really pretty. So that's really nice for a hundred bucks. I thought that was great value. Uh, I could probably sell well eighty percent of it. I want to get my money back. So anyway, let's move on to. I've uh, got a couple Funkos here that I wanted to go over. Uh, this recent one hasn't got anything to do with comics, but I'm a huge Maiden fan, and I do love that uh, Power Slave cover. Um, I love how they worked the artwork into the Funko. Like, the Funko is an unusual Funko in itself. It's not really a, a person or a character. It's literally just a statue, and then it blends right into the artwork of the album. So uh, I really liked that. just thought I'd throw that on there because I liked it so much. And the other two I got, I have The Vision. These are all Target uh, exclusives, these these last three. They just came out, these uh, art prints, they call them, for the comics. And uh, I don't know how much you can take a look at that. The Red Venom, or the Red Vision. So, pretty cool. Literally just got that in the mail yesterday. Um, we've got the, uh, <laughs> stupid like, the Captain Marvel. Jesus. Uh, what is it? Two two seven? Is that that? Yeah. So we got that. It's another one of those art prints that Target's released. I've got several of these coming. I've got these three, and I've got that deceased, and I've got the McFarlane Batman cover, and something else that new Venom they came out too. I really like these. Um, being a Funko collector and a uh, and a, a comic collector, these uh. These really appealed to me. So there's the Scarlet Witch and Vision one. So I think they make some older ones of these already. I'm pretty sure there's a, a Batman and a and a Wonder Woman, and uh, there's a Superman, the original one that you can get the R cover too. So that's it. Just had some stuff I opened up. Wanted to share it with you. Uh, hope you like it. So uh, if you have any questions or want to talk about something, leave a comment. I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks.